After that, we never heard another word from him. Finally, she got a letter saying he was gone again and they had no idea where he was. George Owen Smith always had a bit of wanderlust. In the spring of 1940, the then 14-year-old ran away from his hometown of Auburndale and landed at the Florida School for Boys for stealing a car. His parents learned of what had happened to their son from a letter. A few months later, there was another letter, this time to notify them that George Owen had escaped and could not be found. Then another, this one from Owen about his capture. I got what was coming to me, he wrote. In a letter dated January 1st, 1941, George Owen's parents were told that the school had no knowledge of his whereabouts. His mother made plans to visit Mariana to find out what had happened to her son. Just before they were scheduled to arrive, the Smiths were informed that their son's badly decomposed body had been found underneath a home in Mariana. They requested that his body be held at a funeral home, but they arrived to find him buried in an unmarked grave without embalming or a casket. They called a boy into the office, but now Mr. Davidson was sitting right there. But he said him and Owen decided to leave this one night, and they did. And they were walking down the side of the road, and they saw headlights behind them. And they knew they'd been discovered, so he said, Owen, I'm not going on. Uh, I'm going to just stop, let him get me. This boy said, Owen said to me, well, you know what will happen if you go back? He said, I know, but I'm going back anyway. Owen ran out across this open field, and he said they put me in a car and immediately turned around and went back towards school with me. But he said, I looked back, and there was, he said, either two or three deputies shooting at him as he ran across the open field. And he said, that's the last time I saw him. When this boy left, they took us down to the cemetery, and there was this fresh mound of dirt, and he said that's where Owen was buried. And he was telling my mom, he was so sorry that he was the preacher had called him back. And here, I'm 12 years old, but I knew he was lying through his teeth. You could, I mean, I just knew he was lying. And he said, We're going to put, we'll put a headstone here. And I look around this cemetery. There was a good number of graves there. Some of them there so long, they were kind of like sunk in, you know, at the top. But I thought, why would you put a headstone at his grave and none of these others have one? You know, they say, well, he ran away and, and uh, he never came back. We don't know what happened to him. And the family just takes that and forgets about it. But my mom just would not forget about it. No, she meant to find out what happened to him if possible.